Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to do some counting. In keeping with our beach theme, we're going to count goldfish. So you will need goldfish. You don't need this many. Um, some blue paper. and Actually, if you don't have blue, that's fine. Any paper will do. Glue and some type of marker or pen, something to write with, but it needs to be dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw just like a little wave like that. And I'm going to do that for numbers 1 through 10. That's our little waves in the ocean, and that's where we're going to put our fish. Still draw my waves on my numbers. So I'll lay up to ten. Um, I think I told you you need glue. Or if, you don't even need glue if you want to leave it flat on the table and just count out the fish. So you can put glue on the back of the fish or you can put it on your paper and just have your child put the number of fish that corresponds to the number above the wave. Of course you'll be laying this on the table and not picking it up for a camera so your glue won't slide all over. Um, there you go. And you can use that for practice if your child happens to be um, working on their counting skills. I'm gonna just put the glue on the fish this time. And they just glue their little fish in the in their ocean. And hopefully you let them eat some when they're all done. Okay. I'm gonna go do all the numbers. I don't need to do that because I'm sure you know what I mean. Okay. All right, have fun counting fish. Hello again. Um, what we're going to need for this activity is Play-Doh. Any color you have is fine. I just happen to have a few different colors here. Um, plastic knife or a spoon. Uh, fork, whatever you have that kids can use to manipulate the Play-Doh is fine. I have a rolling pin. Um, it'd be better if I had a small one, but I don't, so I'll make do with what I have. And I also have seashells. Two different shells, different shades. sizes. If you don't have seashells, I actually bought these at the dollar store and, and uh, they serve the purpose. So I'm just going to roll out some Play-Doh. Not really creating anything specific here, it's just a fun activity for the kids. Um, they love Play-Doh and gives them something different to try. So I'm going to 
push out the Play-Doh or roll it out with my rolling pin. I'm just going to push the seashells in there. You can push it all the way through. Made your own Play Doh seashell. Um, another thing you could do is take the knife and after you roll it out, you try to cut some shapes out of it, maybe a starfish. Um, yeah. Really do anything uh, that your child can think of. My starfish didn't come out too good. But one thing you can do is, well, if you watched my videos this week, we would have learned that our seashells are homes for crabs. So they could manipulate the Play-Doh, maybe Make some legs. And make their own little crab. Living in a shell. They need some more legs, but you get the idea. Wrap the Play-Doh all around the shells. And then pull the shell out and you have the indentation of the shell. You can take your knife and cut around it. Another way of making a Play-Doh show. It's kind of hard to see in there, but it's just something to play and use those fine motor, motor skills. And that's our activity.